All right, uh, let's look at the homework two, problem number eight. So we want to solve this uh, inequality, right? So uh, let's do that. All right, so first, uh, inequality is too hard. So I'm going to actually turn, uh, pretend that this is equality, right? So you have x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. So we have equality there. All right, we know how to solve this, right? So we um, try to factor out. So first term and second term, a common factor is x. So I'm going to pull the common factor x. Right? So if you pull x from x squared, it's going to be just x. If you pull x from a negative 3x, it's going to be negative 3. Right? And this is equal to 0. Right hand side doesn't change. All right, then uh, when you have that, then we have to make sure that, uh, you know, to have a zero, uh, at least one of these factors, uh, x or x minus 3, must be zero. So either we can set uh, x equal to zero, uh, which obviously you're going to get uh, x equal zero, or uh, we can set the uh, x minus 3 equal to 0, because 0 times anything is 0. So x has to be 3, right? So if you solve for x, so 0 and 3, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to use these solutions to uh, place uh, tick marks. So uh, draw a number line, right? It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, in the right scale or anything like that. So we have two numbers. So you have uh, 0 and 3. I right, put the smaller number on the left and the larger number on the right. So we have that. All right. So we know that uh, this uh, x squared minus 3 will be 0 when x is uh, equal to 0 or x equals 3. Then uh, everything in between is going to be either positive or, or negative. All right. So uh, let's check. So we just have to check some uh, sample numbers. Uh, so you can try, let's see, anything less than 0. So I'm going to try x equals uh, negative 1. Something simple. Uh, between 0 and 3, I'm going to try x equals uh, positive 1. Something bigger than 3, so I'm going to try 4. So x equals 4. All right. So what you want to do is uh, you want to look at this uh, uh, left-hand side right, to see if you plug in these sample numbers uh, to see if you're going to get a positive value or a negative value. Right? So uh, let's do that. So let's see. If you look at it, so you have uh, x uh, squared minus 3x. Uh, it's probably easier to uh, look at this uh, factor without form, so x minus 3. All right, so let's try negative 1. If you plug in negative 1, so we know that uh, this is this is, x is going to be negative, right? So x minus 3, if x is negative 1, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, so it's going to be negative. But when you multiply negative numbers together, you're going to get the positive value. So you're going to get a positive value there on this interval. All right, between 0 and 3, so I'm going to try uh, try 1. So let's see, I'm going to erase these because uh, it might be different. All right, so here, uh, if you plug in 1, so that's going to be positive here. All right, 1 minus 3 is negative. Positive times negative is going to be negative there. All right, and uh, let's try um, 4. So when x equals 4, obviously, uh, x is going to be positive. And a 4 minus 3 is going to be positive. So positive times positive is going to be positive. Right? So you can see that uh, x squared minus 3 is going to be positive uh, right here. On this interval, uh, right before uh, 0. And right after 3, because you have a positive there and positive there. All right, to write the uh, interval notation, so this is going to be less than 0. So interval notation is going to be starting from negative infinity, 
then go all the way to zero, right? Then skip uh, in between zero and three. We're going to start back up uh, from three, not including three, all the way to positive infinity. All right, so uh, let's uh, put it in. All right, so the solution set is going to be, uh, we're going to have uh, negative uh, infinity. So we have to look at the, uh, let's say here's the infinity. And two, uh, what was it, uh, was it a one? Uh, I, forgot, I forgot what it was. All right, uh, it was zero, sorry. All right, so it was a zero. All right, then union. And starting from 3 to uh, positive infinity. All right, so we got that. And I can probably put a little bit of space there. It looks a little bit better. All right, let's check the answer. All right, got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.